At St. Mary's County investigators reveal new details about the shooting last week at Great Mills High School, including the 911 calls, a timeline of events, and how the suspect died. WJC is live. Ava Joy Burnett breaks it all down for us. Ava Joy. Well, fake officials say the 17 year old walked into the school with a gun, and it only took him seven minutes to find the person he was looking for. He then shot her in the head with a gun. A new timeline from the sheriff reveals horror as it unfolded at Great Mills High School. Students called 911. What's the problem? There's a school shooting. Please. Where? Where? Here at Great Mills High School. The sheriff says school surveillance captured the video. 750, the sheriff's office says Austin Rollins pulled into the parking lot. Two minutes later, the 17 year old walked in through the main entrance. Five minutes after that, investigators say the suspect found 16 year old Jalen Willie in a hallway, approached and shot her in the head. At 8 o'clock, just eight minutes after he pulled into the parking lot, SRO Deputy First Class Blaine Gaskell confronted the shooter. Investigators say that's when Rollins shot himself in the head. My daughter was hurt by a boy who shot her in the head and, 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 and took everything from our lives. The sheriff's office said Jalen Willie had a relationship with Rollins that had recently ended. Two days after the shooting, her parents took her off life support. Sunday, her family participated in a peace rally. Desmond Barnes' mother was also present. Investigators say the same bullet that hit Willie ricocheted and struck the 14-year-old in the leg, but he survived. We truly have felt the prayers. And there's nothing like feeling um, you all's prayers in your loving arms around us. Officials say that handgun belonged to Rollins' father. As for the school resource officer, officials say he confronted the shooter, shot towards him, and that bullet hit the shooter's gun. Live tonight, Average Way Burnett for WJZ. Abadjoy, thank you. Willie's funeral will be held this Friday in Hollywood, Maryland at 10 a.m. You can find out more information on our website at WJZ.com.